Well, the visionary behind this was a guy named Herman Omi. His parents uh, immigrated to New York City from Germany in uh, 1891, and uh, Herman was actually born in New York City. Uh, family uh, migrated to Mattoon, Illinois, uh, flatlands, and in time, Herman uh, loved the mountains. He saw pictures of the Cascade Mountains and just was drawn to that, so he came out to Spokane and uh, eventually uh, he had a brother here and lived with him for a while and then uh, he actually bought an orchard in Brewster, Washington. Uh, found some property here in Wenatchee at the base of uh, Birch Mountain uh, and sold his Brewster orchard and used that money to purchase the 40 acres of land that the gardens now sit on. And that 40 acres included a small five acre apple orchard, uh, a little farmhouse, and then this land that was rocky, craggy, nothing but sagebrush, dry grass, is actually considered wasteland, so he got a pretty good deal on the land. Well, he'd work his orchard during the day and come up in the evenings and just enjoyed the view, and he was quite taken by the views of the mountains and the Columbia River and the Wenatchee Valley and um, wanted to build a house. Eventually uh, met a, a young lady named Ruth Orchid. Uh, she was from a pioneer family to the area from Dryden, Washington, and the two um, hit it off and got married uh, in 1930, and they would come up together at the top of the hill here and enjoy the view. And one day Herman turned to his, his new bride and said, you know, we can make this spot look as beautiful as the mountains over there. And that was kind of the inspiration behind how they patterned this hilltop uh, oasis that it is today. So what they did is they would um, drive up to the Cascade Mountains, and dig up little seedling trees and also our Wenatchee Mountains and uh, start planting little seedling trees uh, on this hilltop.